सफीर पाकिस्तान आपके जज्बों का तर्जुमान वतन से दूर वतन की आवाज और आपकी पहचान सफीर पाकिस्तान सलाम जियो सफीर पाकिस्तान हेलो जियो सफीर पाकिस्तान बिस्मिल्लाम असला नाजरीन आपका मेजबान वकाल खान प्रोग्राम सफीर पाकिस्तान के साथ हाजिर खिदमत है कहिए कैसे मिजाज है मुझे उम्मीद है कि आप मेरा प्रोग्राम पाबंदी से देख रहे होंगे सफीर पाकिस्तान आपकी आवाज और आपकी पहचान रबतों का एक नाम सफीर पाकिस्तान और आपके जज्बात और एहसास का तर्जुमान भी सफीर पाकिस्तान नाजर मुझे उम्मीद है कि आप ये तमाम इंटरव्यूज बायदगी से देख रहे होंगे उनको पसंद भी कर रहे होंगे आपकी मालूम में कुछ इजाफा भी होता होगा आज एक और ऐसी मुलाकात हमने अपने प्रोग्राम में शामिल की है और ये है जनाब डॉक्टर बाबर राव न्यूयॉर्क से इनका ताल्लुक है इज आल्स प्रोफेसर ही टीचर्स इन न्यू जर्सी एंड बाय प्रोफेशन इन द मेडिकल ही इज ए डर्मेटोलॉजिस्ट और ये स्किन कैंसर के पेशेंट को भी ट्रीट करते हैं और मैं समझता हूँ कि ये तो उनका प्रोफेशन है और ये डर्मेटोलॉजिस्ट हैं जिल्स के डॉक्टर हैं स्किन को ट्रीट करते हैं लेकिन इसके अलावा इनके और से बहुत सारे कारनामे हैं इन्होंने एक बर्न सेंटर बनाया था अपने दोस्तों से मिलके के ताऊ से मिल के ये राहुल मंडी मेडिकल कॉलेज में इसका बेस था और इसको इनके तमाम कमेटी ने और इनकी फाउंडेशन ने बहुत मेहनत से इसको परवान चढ़ाया और अब ये टेकन ओवर बाय द पंजाब गवर्नमेंट जिसकी डिटेल आज के प्रोग्राम में शामिल होगी तो आइए आज मुलाकात कराते हैं आपकी जनाब डॉक्टर बाबा राव से इसके अलावा जी हाँ आज के प्रोग्राम में बहुत कुछ शामिल किया है हमने लोकल ग्लोबल में तो इंस्टीट्यूट ऑल द वे एंड वॉच सफीर पाकिस्तान मुलायद फरमाइए ये रिकॉर्ड बिसमीम नाजरीन आकर मेजबान वकील खान न्यू यॉर्क से हाजिर खिदमत है आज हमारे मेहमान हैं जनाब डॉक्टर बाबर राव इनकी शख्सियत किसी भी तारुफ की मोहताज नहीं है अब से चार साल कबल एक बर्न सेंटर में इंटरव्यू किया था जो राहुल मंडी मेडिकल कॉलेज के जहर तहत चल रहा था उसमें एक अच्छा ग्रुप था मैंने पूरे ग्रुप का इंटरव्यू किया था उस ज़माने में बाबा राव साहब उसके हेड कर रहे थे उस अदारे को और मुझे इस बात की खुशी हुई थी कि कोई कॉलेज इस किस्म का सेंटर पाकिस्तान में चला रहा है बर्न सेंटर जो बहुत ही इम्पॉर्टेंट है और उसमें बहुत सी चीज़ें हुई थी और बहुत सी बातें हुई थी मैं आपको उसकी हाइलाइट्स दिखाऊंगा इस इंटरव्यू के अंदर और मुझे याद है कि जनाब बाबर राव साहब ने कहा था कि इन शाला इसको हम कम्प्लीट करेंगे इसको पाए तकमील तक पहुँचाएँगे और इसको हुकूमत के हवाले भी करेंगे ताकि वो इसको रन करें और हम इसको यहाँ से एडवाइस करें और कोआर्डीनेट करें और लेजान करें तो अब वो वक्त आ पहुँचा है माशाल्लाह ये बर्न सेंटर अब पंजाब की हुकूमत उसको सुपरवाइज कर रही है उसको रन कर रही है वही लोग वहाँ के एम्प्लॉज की सैलरी देते हैं चला रहे हैं लेकिन एडवाइस आज भी टॉर्पिंडी मेडिकल कॉलेज के सबका तलब इम जो अमेरिका में मुफीम है वो करते हैं और ये बड़ी खुशी की बात है तो आज मेरी मुलाकात हुई है जनाब डॉक्टर बाबर राव साहब से जो कि एक माहिर कहते हैं जल्द हैं उर्दू में कहते हैं ही स्किन स्पेशलिस्ट स्किन डिजीज़ के डॉक्टर हैं और अपने प्रोफेशन में महारत रखते हैं पढ़ाते भी हैं इलाज भी करते हैं ट्रीट भी करते हैं और इनके बाद एक और भी हेट है वो बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट है वो है ही चेयर ऑफ द मेरिट एंड द एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ अपना अपना इज़ वन ऑफ द लीडिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ द पाकिस्तानी अमेरिकन फिजिशन विच इज़ प्लेइंग की रोल एंड वाइटल रोल टू सपोर्ट पाकिस्तान मेडिकल कॉलेज हेल्थ फेयर बहुत कामयाब गेम है मुबारकबाद देता हूँ सामद अफर को कि उन्होंने अच्छा इकदाम किया कि हर स्टेट में जो है वो हेल्थ फेयर हुई तो आज हम जनाब बाबा राव साहब से बातचीत करेंगे वो मेरिट के बारे में जो कॉलेज में ये लेक्चर जहाँ से लेक्चर्स होते हैं और पाकिस्तान में तलबा यहाँ के लेक्चर्स को सुनते हैं ऑब्जर्व करते हैं तो ये एक बहुत बड़ा कारनामा इनका हो रहा है लेकिन आज हम उस बर्न सेंटर के बारे में बातचीत करेंगे आइए मुलाकात करते हैं आपकी जनाब डॉक्टर बाबा राव साहब से कैसे मजा आ बिल्कुल ठीक ठाक से हैं आप बिल्कुल बिल्कुल अच्छा डॉक्टर साहब माशा सबसे पहले तो मुबारकबाद देता हूँ आपके कि आप चेयर हैं मेरिट के और एजुकेशन 
डिपार्टमेंट के अपना का जो उन्होंने अपना बनाया है तो पहले तो थोड़ी सी ज़रा हाईलाइट दें उसकी क्या है ये सो so, अपना की अपना इज एसोसिएशन ऑफ पाकिस्तानी फिजिशंस इन नॉर्थ अमेरिका मीनिंग अमेरिका एंड कनाडा जी जी एंड दे हैव डिफरेंट विंग्स फॉर सोशल वेलफेयर फॉर एजुकेशन फॉर वेरियस थिंग्स फॉर पेलेंथ्रॉपिक वर्क और रफाया मैं के काम सब कामों के लिए सो आई हैव बीन गिवन रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू रन अपना मेरिट बाई प्रेजिडेंट सैमा जफ़र एंड अपना मेरिट करंटली वट वी डू इज के एवरी संडे नाइट वी डिलीवर लेक्चर्स फ्राम नॉर्थ अमेरिका वेर द स्पीकर आर एनी वेयर इन द कंट्री नॉर्थ अमेरिका कैनेडा और सम अदर कंट्री इन सम इंस्टेंसिस and the the audience or uh, or the students professor doctors are in pakistan they are either in their conference rooms in diff- various medical colleges uh, and or they could be somewhere else but they can log on and listen to that lectures live oh great ji ye isse pehle kabhi hua tha ya aap logon ne shuru kiya ye this started a few years ago uh, uh, through apna mm-hmm. uh, iske ilawa some time when when uh, apna doctors and other doctors are visiting pakistan they all give lectures in their medical schools but nothing organized like this this is with Very apna well organized well nothing organized okay dasa ye maine isliye uski bazaar chahiye ki maine apne naudu ko bataya tha ki apna merit kya hai aur apna jo education department wo kya kuch kaam kar raha hai babra sahab thoda bahut apna introduction aap dein apne bare mein ki aapka jo apna profession hai wo kis nahaj pe hai और क्या कुछ करते हैं आप एज ए स्किन स्पेशलिस्ट जी तो मोस्ट मोस्टली स्किन स्पेशलिस्ट इन अमेरिका दे आर वर्किंग इन प्राइवेट और एकेडमिक्स तो आई हैव चोजन द रूट वेयर फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ माई वर्क इज डेडिकेटेड टू एजुकेशन आई स्टिल चेयर ए प्रोग्राम ऑफ डर्मेटोलॉजी इन न्यू जर्जी रॉबर्ट वुड जॉनसन मेडिकल स्कूल and then other 50% of my time i divide between practice and in practice uh, most of the time uh, we have patients jo ke aam jaise acne ho gayi ya rashes ho gayi ya aur america mein kafi zyada skin cancers hote hain we treat that and also about 25% of my work is aesthetics or cosmetics uh, people at a certain time they want to improve their looks we also do that Yeah, I've seen your website, and you have lot of uh, skin cancer center. G. You also do that. Yes. So my my specialty, uh, what what I love to do, uh, is skin cancer. So detection and treatment of skin cancer, which is uh, common in elderly and, uh, people, especially in sun exposed areas. So I have a practice in California where we treat lot of skin cancer. Mm-hmm. Also in New Jersey, it is less in Manhattan, but uh, other states I treat lot of skin cancer. I see. How many practices you have? How many clinics you have? So I have three of my own uh, private practices: one in Jersey, one in California, one in New York City, and then I also teach at a medical school and uh, in New Jersey and here in Cornell, where I graduated from. Mashaala, you are a very busy person. Yes, I keep myself busy, but I try to get maximum out of me. <laughs> Yeah, Dr. Rasa is the busiest guy. You know, he's busy in his uh, skin cancer hospital clinic, his teaching profession, his family, his friends. Up na RMC, you know, sorry, Rawalpindi Medical College RMC, Aban Centers. So, mashallah, बहुत ही यानि कि ये मुतारिक शख्सियत हैं. तो डॉक्टर साहब ये जो हमने आपके याद है कि आपके ग्रुप के इंटरव्यू किया था. वैसे फिर बात है हमेशा. ऐसे कामों को प्रमोट करती है और कवर करती है जैसा आपने किया कि आपने बर्न सेंटर कायम किया था तो अब ये बताइए वो बर्न सेंटर का आपने मुझे कहा था कि जनाब इसको हम बनाएंगे और इसको कंप्लीट करेंगे और डेफिनेटली इसको एक दिन हम हुकूमत के हवाले भी करेंगे तो वो अब कहाँ पे है क्या थोड़ी उसकी तस्वीर हमें बताइए बिल्कुल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई लाइक टू थैंक यू फॉर फॉर शोइंग दैट शो ऑन जियो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वी वर वेरी सक्सेसफुल इन अचीविंग बट वी वर अचीविंग so th- that center uh, we started uh, between donations from rawalpindi Med- medical college graduates mm-hmm. inside uh, north america 
and there were some do donations also from medical graduates uh, in, in, in Pindi, in Pakistan. And initially, we were given the land uh, uh, or the, a place uh, by uh, Principal Rawal Pindi Medical College in Holy Family Hospital. It's a Holy Family, yeah. We renovated it, and then we, uh, we supplied all medical and surgical supplies. We hired all the staff. And for a few years, we were uh, generating all, uh, all the resources for medical supplies, for salaries, and patient care from our resources from uh, a foundation called Robert, Rawal Pindi Medical College Overseas Foundation. Mm -hmm. And then after a few years, but as we started, we knew after a few years, it may be difficult to sustain this. And to really, you can start any project. The success of the project is if you can find local resources to yeah. run the, continue the project. So my aim from the very beginning was to, to convince somehow Punjab government to basically help in that. And I know that there are difficulties and there is a lot of uh, political difficulties. But in this case, I'm really, really thankful to uh, Chief Minister uh, Punjab, Mia Nawaz uh, Shabash yes, Sharif, who basically, uh, I gave him a presentation, showed him our statistics, how we helped. And he was then convinced that we are doing a good job. And we, he, they, then he promised to take it over, which took a year, the process. Mm -hmm. But finally, they took it over, where they are paying the salaries, and they're taking care of all expenses. Now we just pay, uh, uh, keep our advisory role through the help of our, uh, Principal Rawal Pindi Medical College, Mr. Musaddeh Khan. Okay, okay. So now this center hai, ye is still within the college? It is still within the college. And it is all uh, expenses and supervision, everything is taken care by the Punjab government? By Punjab government. So are you satisfied? with their services? I, I wish uh, we could, I personally, people from, uh, doctors from North America could contribute more time to make sure it runs smooth. But there are some difficulties, but I'm happy that it's, it's uh, ongoing and we can keep improving it on R&R. So, was your team still in tech or your team is done or you have uh, where we are right now? No, so the, our team is intact in, 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 uh, in Pakistan. We have, we have our, uh, few people who help us there, especially Dr. Nadeem Afraz. Okay. And then here we have a team uh, of Rawal Pindi Medical College graduates. After Burn Center, we took another project. After what the other project? So after the floods, uh, two years ago, there was a lot of people were homeless and, and they were in a lot of trouble. So we decided uh, to basically build houses in a small village outside Bhakar where uh, we, uh, the local people gave us the land, but we built about 200 houses, uh, single family houses oh, for wow, them. That's very good. Where then we recently have also started a little a school there for the girls school, that's the first girls school there. And now we plan to do a dispensary there. Oh, excellent, excellent. Same group? Same group, Ra uh, Rawal Pindi Medical College graduates. I see, I see. So now you are on side of the charity? Yes. In welfare yes. work? Yes. I see. So is that response a chair? And actually, there are a lot of donations also uh, collected by local people there from various organizations other than what we donated. Mm -hmm. So as a group, it's working very well. Is there any admin cost on the, in, in that? Uh, our admin cost is always zero. <laughs> zero. <laughs> zero. <laughs> zero. <laughs> that's, very good. That's, how, that's how we do that's it. How, how often do you visit the Pakistan? Uh, I go every year, usually in winter time. And, and then I will go visit my medical college, other various medical college, and my doctor's friend. And my really thrill is what else can we do uh, as a new project or just improve the previous project. Dr. Bhi, mashallah, you have the that's a very, very big achievements. And uh, building 200 houses, another very big achievements by your group. I really salute uh, to them all. Thank you. you, know. Thank you. Uh, some name I remember, some I don't, you know, so I don't want to give anybody names here, but I remember that there was an AA team yes. under leadership. <laughs> yes. It was a very good team, you know, some from Kentucky or some yes. local yeah. here, you know, that is very good. Uh, Raksab, uh, definitely you're doing a great job for Pakistan. Very good, your contribution. But, you know, there's some needs here as well. Yes. There's a lot of Americans, also very poor people. Yes. They don't have insurance, they don't have a ability to go and get treatment. So, are you doing anything? 
Yes, usually uh, I work with Apna also. We do free clinics in different cities uh, many times a year. I, I attended a few in Fresno, California, my California office. There, was, uh, there are clinics everywhere. We do that as Apna for local people, people who don't have uh, an access to uh, good health care. And then uh, other, just I like to mention, other than just uh, working in Pakistan, uh, we do all right. We do try to go anywhere in the world if possible. After earthquake in Haiti, I was there with a the medical team five days after the oh. earthquake, and we helped there. Then at least once or twice a year, we do free medical clinics in uh, Dominican Republic for a small poor village we I happen to know, and we do free clinics there. Yeah, that's one thing uh, sometimes bothers me and. Uh, as you know that Apna, mashallah, is one of the leading organizations. Apna can play a vital and key role in Pakistan in many areas. Okay. Uh, personally, a lot of medical colleges, Dow, King Edward Medical College, Fatma Jina College, Khyber, National Medical College, Lama Akbar Medical College, they're doing their own lot of things, yes. personally. Why they don't become a one platform and perform everything under the banner of APNA? Uh, I mean in North America or in Pakistan? In Pakistan. In Pakistan. Well, uh, what, the way it would work is really because if we try to do everything our way in Pakistan, they, it may not be needed there or it may not be required that way. So what we try to do is ask them what help they need, if any, in education or health care. नादिन दसल मैं डॉक्टर बाबर और साथ से जो सवाल कर रहा था कि अपना एक बड़ी हमगीर बड़ी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है और मुख्तलिफ जो कॉलेजेस हैं अलमनाइज हैं वो अपने तहत बहुत कुछ काम कर रहे हैं लेकिन मैं ये चाह रहा था कि अगर ये तमाम कॉलेजेस और जितने भी एनजीओस काम कर रही हैं वो अगर अपना के बैनर तले आ जाएँ और काम करें तो डेफिनेटली अपना की जो एग्जीक्यूटिव कमेटी है और उनकी जो लीडरशिप है वो दे कैन प्ले की रोल or it will look like that Apna are doing the huge work in Pakistan. Dr. Saab, there's a big project in Apna, Apna's house, Apna's health, Apna's health, Apna's health, but there's no such project in my mind. If you look at your mind, you can tell me about it. Now, most recently, there's a little bit of a problem, and I've seen that doctor under leadership of Dr. Simon Zafar. Yes. So, I've seen that doctor under leadership of Dr. Simon Zafar. Yes. We're trying to help with that. Oh, good. Yes, yes. So, the, we, we are in the process of sending some help, financial help. Financial help. Yes, yes. I see. So, you don't have to do any kind of work that you can see regular things and you always have to be in every door. Yes. Uh, we, actually, I cannot answer on Apna's uh, president's behalf, but I know Apna has a, so, a wing called social welfare. Social welfare, yes. Which basically looks after things like this, mm -hmm. and whenever there is a need any, any, anywhere in Pakistan, then usually it goes through a committee and they approve, uh, yes, we should intervene. So when any president, uh, doesn't matter which president, when there was earthquake or when there was uh, previous floods, and these floods usually uh, people activate and do uh, help uh, through Apna, yes. In a moment, you started a project that you don't have to do with poor kids and education. Yes, yes. So that project is still on or just rolled up? I am not totally aware of that. What is going on with that? Okay, this is your health fair. Yes. This is your third year, right? Yes, third year, yes. So it's improving? It's improving, getting more organized. There are more cities in the first place, there were less cities. And people know, local people know, and more people come to the fairs. I see. Yeah. So, basically, you know that in Pakistan, there are skin disease many problems, many yeah. issues. Because there is a lot of water, there are a lot of hygienic things, so there are a lot of skin disease problems. Yeah. So, basically, the pro and professional uh, skin specialists, have you thought that you in Pakistan do a skin disease institute? Is there a lot of awareness that you can get a lot of awareness? Yes. So I have a plan. I will talk to, when this time I go to Pindi, I usually, I know doctors there and I will probably find an underserved area there and establish the liaison center somewhere with Raval Pindi Medical College, either in Holy Family or other hospitals. And if principal Pindi Medical College agrees, then we will launch some project 
where I want to provide uh, free uh, skin care to local people uh, through some means, where I would arrange some doctors, local dermatologists to help me, and I'll help as much as I can help. I see. Acha. मौके से फायदा उठाते हुए ये बताइए कि एक हेल्थी स्किन के लिए क्या चीजें इख्तियार करनी चाहिए इंसान को क्या तरीके का एडॉप्ट करना चाहिए सो देर आर लॉट ऑफ मिथ्स के स्किन का क्या कर लेना चाहिए क्या नहीं कर लेना चाहिए बट बेसिकली फ्यू थिंग्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट वन इज के ऑबियसली यू ईट एंड ड्रिंक हेल्थी एंड देन यू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अवॉइड दोज रिंकल्स एंड brown spots or wrink, uh, rough spots on your skin later on in your life or at or even younger then you should avoid sun as much as you can uh, meaning ke agar dhoop mein zyada na phire to wo wrinkles or spots kam honge so protect yahan pe log bahut zyada wo sunscreen istemal karte hain which is good even for us to avoid those wrinkles and sun spots and third thing is really every time you wash your hand or you wash your face or you take a shower or a bath to use some moisturizing lotions Achha, so other than these three things like protect uh, pro- avoiding sun putting some moisturizers and eating and drinking healthy food then rest of it lot of there are many creams and many lotions and every lotion the company says is better than other lotions they help but those three basic things uh, keep your skin healthy what about the vitamins vitamins uh, balanced food with vitamins will help but there is no single vitamin which will go directly to your skin and help oh really yes there are many many people eat vitamin d for their hair and nails it helps a little bit um, other people eat biotin uh, or they they f- to help with their nail and hair but there is really no specific vitamin for skin but if you keep your food balanced and take multivitamin maybe that multivitamin that will help But there is no specific skin vitamin. That's how we come to America. Yes. Can you tell us that you are a citizen of an American citizen? Yes. What are your activities? Do you support local politicians or you take part in local activities? What's your role? Yeah, no, I am not heavily involved in local, local uh, politics, but I do try to get involved myself where I, wherever I think there is an organization at a small level or a higher, higher level where they may be helping poor people. I see. So it could be a local food drive or it could be an education thing I would definitely be involved but uh, as far as concerning the bigger political parties I have my own opinions which I keep it to myself. I see do you support see. charity project and I do yes I do like uh, we do a charity project through our clinics and mm-hmm. me personally So when you're planning to visit Pakistan next uh, December inshallah I'll be there visiting medical schools and my other friends and family and do something good Dr sahab ye bataye ki aapko Pakistan ke halat pe aapki nazar rehti hai Ji very very Aap much so inside kya feeling hai kya mehsoos karte hain आप इतना काम करते हैं पेट्रॉटिक हैं नेशनलिस्ट हैं बर्न सेंटर बना रहे हैं स्किन इंस्टीट्यूट कायम करेंगे पाकिस्तान जाते हैं हर साल पाकिस्तान जाते हैं आप तो आपको दुख होता होगा पाकिस्तान के हालात को देखते हुए तो आपकी एज ए प्रोफेशनल एज ए आंटरप्रनोर आपकी क्या राय है सो ऑबियसली सिचुएशन वेन आई विजिट और वेन आई लिसन टू न्यूज समाइम इट्स नॉट वेरी इनकरेजिंग बट आई एम होपफुल things are uh, because of so much awareness through internet and tv and media that at least everybody can launch their complaint which is a good start mm-hmm. and i am hopeful in uh, in few years time situation will be much better that's very good yes. you are very optimistic yes. mashallah you yes. know you're not like other no i kije pakistan ke kya hoga i'm i'm very hopeful that it will be, it will be better <laughs> that that's very good really. apna ko aap kahan dikhna chahte hain future basically do more and more projects in health education uh, inside america and obviously outside america mostly we focus on pakistan but other countries we help little bit and uh, there is uh, some time when election comes each year just few months before that people get little bit more uh, 
aggressive to, aggressive. to, 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 to win the election, <laughs> to win the election. which is, I think, good for any democracy. That's a fun. But sometimes we get carried away a little bit. So, yeah, yeah. but but I think in the end, it's a very good organization. Yeah, I think yeah, we yeah. should respect each other, and yeah. uh, election is a good process, is a democracy. Or maybe to advice, sir. I don't know if you like it. Uh, देखिए एक प्रेसिडेंट आता है वो अपने प्रोजेक्ट लॉन्च करता है अपनी पॉलिसीज को लॉन्च करता है और वो चाहता है वो कॉम्प्लिश हो सारी और कंप्लीट हो लेकिन उस, वो अभी इसके तो टाइम खत्म हो जाता है एंड ही गॉन द नेक्स्ट पर्सन का एंड ही लॉन्च इज ओन आइडियाज एन ओन कॉन्सेप्ट ओके एक थ्रू आउट पॉलिसी नहीं है तो ऐसा जरूरी नहीं कि आपका एक पर्सन दो साल के लिए तो हो तकरीबन आई थिंक देर आर मैनी पीपल आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द सेम थिंग आई थिंक इट्स अ ग्रेट आइडिया के उसकी टर्म लंबी हो एक साल से एंड आल्सो इफ दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल इमीजिएटली एंड अदर थिंग इज के जो कमेटी मेंबर्स आए हैं या जो प्रोजेक्ट सेलेक्ट किए एटलीस्ट दे कुड बी फॉर लॉन्गर टाइम सो दैट दे फिनिश देयर ड्यू प्रोजेक्ट प्रोजेक्ट वो थ्रू हो सारे जैसे अब हमारे डॉक्टर दानी मंजूर साहब ने कुछ प्रोजेक्ट शुरू किए थे बिल्कुल वो ऐसा ना हो कि उनको खत्म कर दिया उनको थ्रू कर रहे ताकि उनके लगे भी जारी रहे और उनका इंटरेस्ट भी इन्वॉल्व रहे जैसे सैम जफर साहब ने शुरू किया प्रोजेक्ट वो भी आइंदा जो भी प्रेसिडेंट आए उसको वो थ्रू करे उसको बैन ना करे जैसे हमारे पाकिस्तान में जो सिलसिला होता है कि जजारी साहब आए उन्होंने पिछले साल खत्म कर दिया निज़ाम वो अपना निज़ाम लिया है बिल्कुल तो इस तरह से मैं समझता हूँ कि एक बेहतर जमहूरीत को फ़रोग मिलेगा अपने के अंदर क्या समझते हैं आप आई थिंक इट्स अ वेरी गुड आइडिया टू हैव टू ईयर्स डॉक्टर साहब एक सवाल मैं अपना पर्सनल करता हूँ आपसे जी जी बिल्कुल फेयर ओपिनियन दी है कि सफीर पाकिस्तान का क्या रोल है अपने के अंदर I think other than Apna, just as a as a good uh, organization to promote things in Pakistan, it has a big role. Uh, and I think whenever I listen to Safire Pakistan interviews or whatever they have done, it's very positive and it's uh, also uh, encouraging to see that they basically uh, promote uh, issues which may not be otherwise uh, very well uh, known to the public. Excellent, yes. Shukdeep Rakhsa. Rakhsa. जाने से पहले कोई खसूस मैसेज हमारे नाजरन के लिए वेल एज एज आई सेड बेसिकली एज माई ओपिनियंस विच आई गेव वर ऑबियसली नाट ऑफिशियल ओपिनियंस ऑफ अपना आई वॉज गिविंग ओपिनियन एज अपना मेम्बर एज माई ओपिनियंस सो इफ समथिंग इज नाट राइट इन दैट केस दैन अपना शुडन बी ब्लेम्ड बट अदरवाइज माई मैसेज इज दैट आई एम वेरी हेल्प होपफुल अबाउट अवर प्रोजेक्ट इन पाकिस्तान and i'm very hopeful about pakistan that things will get better nadin to aap ne mulaqat ki janab dr babar rao sahab se jo ke skin ke specialist hai myre jild hai jinko pakistan mein kehte hain aur inshallah taala ye aainda bhi aate rahenge aur aapko advice dete rahenge aur aapne aaj sir asil guftugu hui unse dr sahab se mashallah ye badh chadh ke kaam kar rahe hain aur inshallah aainda bhi kaam karte rahenge aur iske sath hi aapka mezban fakir khan new york ke dawa hote jaa jayega Allah Hafiz, Pakistan, Zindabad. Dr. Bahadur, thank you very much. Thank you, Nadeem. Nadeem, now it's time to have a popular segment, Local Global. दिल अमेरिका में कई सालों से मसरूफ है और इस अदारे ने अपनी आला और बेहतर कारकर्दगी से हर जगह अपने लिए एक आला मिसाल कायम की है पाकिस्तान में नौजवान और गरीब नादार लड़कियों को तालीम के जबर से आरस्ता करने में इनकी कोशिशें कामयाब हैं और ये अदारा मुल्क भर में तालीम मैदान में सरगर्मी अमल है इस अदारे का आगाज लॉस एंजलिस से हुआ और अब पूरे अमरीका में इनके दफातर और इदारे कायम हैं लोग बढ़ चढ़ कर काम कर रहे हैं कई हज़ार लड़कियाँ देर तालीम हैं और पाकिस्तान में सामाजिक और फलाई कामों में ये अदारा अपना हिस्सा डाल रहा है मसाइल जो पैंसठ साल से हैं वो एक दो दिन की बात नहीं कि ख़त्म हो लेकिन अगर दिल जैसे अदारे काम करते रहे तो वो दिन दूर नहीं जब हर बच्ची मलाला यूसुफ दई बनेगी और ख़्वान के लिए इल्म की सफ़ी होगी
Assalamualaikum. Uh, we have Maryam Rashid. She is the president of development and literacy. She has been an active member of DIL for the last 15 years, and she has done some tremendous work for the organization. So let's um, talk to her today and get her opinion. DIL is in remote areas of Pakistan, in the underdeveloped regions where there have never been lights of education. We educate girls and boys, and we started with one school in Mungia near Khairpur, and now we have 116,000 students. And we have DIL schools all over the remote areas of Pakistan. We have an excellent program for them. We have primary schools, then we go on to middle schools, and we even give them, send them up to high schools and give them training so that these same kids can come back and become our teachers and future leaders of the community. And they're giving a lot of support to their own families, their parents, all of that. We are trying to now form our own schools and building our own schools and we are working a lot on teachers training because if the teachers are trained, they will train the students well. And also we are developing a lot of computers, libraries so that we can have computers, libraries in every school. And we want to make their dreams come true. Uh, today is the uh, 16th uh, gala uh, we are holding at St. Regis and the organization is uh, to do with education. We educate uh, kids, empower women, communities, uh, make them leaders in villages back home in Pakistan. And um, I believe myself in education and um, I'm a big supporter and also uh, a big patron. And uh, uh, I personally go back home to Pakistan almost every year to look at our projects and we're all over Pakistan. Uh, the kids, the teachers I meet, they are incredible. Uh, they are the power, the teachers are our power as far as the schools back home. The curriculum is just wonderful. Uh, it's all phonics and uh, the teachers love our teacher training. Uh, the way we uh, present it, the way we uh, instruct the teachers, they absolutely love uh, DIL teacher training as opposed to the government schools. And um, I encourage whoever wants, is watching us today, please support us. We are on www.dil.org. Check us out. Uh, we are almost all over the world now, uh, mashallah, and we look forward for your support. من قبل أن يقضي عليك وحي وقل رب زدني علما. The translation of this ayah: Then high above all, Allah, the true King, and be not to haste to Muhammad peace be upon him, صلى الله عليه وسلم. With the Quran, before its revelation, its revelation is completed to you and say, My Lord, increase me in knowledge. Thank you. She's currently serving her third term as president of the Los Angeles chapter of the Developments in Literacy. DIL's vision is to educate and empower underprivileged children, especially girls, by operating model schools in the remote areas of Pakistan. In 1996, DIL opens its first school in Mungia, a village located in the beautiful valleys of Pakistan. In this room, who have contributed to DIL and the projects, as we thank you for your, the education and the opportunities you are providing to the girls and the boys for the education. DIL schools making available education of technology, vocational training, and to our students who are on their path to life long and nurturing their dreams. With that, let me introduce our keynote speaker, Dr. Aisha Khurshid. Dil provided me an opportunity to work with a unique development organization in which not only the recipients, but also the policymakers are primarily women of Pakistani origin. My research shows that how these women assert themselves as critical and independent thinkers on the one hand and aim to become effective members of their communities on the other hand. DIL has created a context for these young and educated women to work with their families even in the face of challenges 
and to mobilize local resources to resolve issues instead of becoming emotionally and physically distant because of their education. Lela Karamali joined Dil as the executive director of Dil USA in January. Education the Dil way is more than the ability to read and write. And it goes beyond the quest of knowledge for its own means. Our education provides individuals with the skills and confidence they need to be the change that they hope for and make them realize that the end responsibility to transform their lives lies with them. Bringing awareness to overall social causes and volunteering to help nonprofit organizations in need. Without further ado, I would love for only to come up. It's, it's really great what Dil is doing. That's why I'm here. I think the, the, the motto of Three Idiots is, is chase excellence, not success. You know, you go to school, you, you do everything right, you become a doctor, you become an engineer, and fine, you'll make money, you'll be happy. But chasing excellence is something completely different. There's no root to that. There, there, there's no path. It's just doing your dream, do, working hard and going for it no matter what. And Dil is facing so many difficulties in Pakistan. But still, they continue to forge ahead with your help. And I think that's what's really important. پاکستان میں منارٹیز پر ہونے والے ظلم اور قتل و غارتگری اور دہشتگردی کے سلسلے میں امریکہ میں مقیم منارٹیز جس میں مختلف مذہب سے تعلق کرنے والے لوگ شامل تھے پاکستان میں دہشتگردی اور اسلامی تنظیموں کے خلاف فیڈرل بلڈنگ لاس اینجلس کے سامنے مظاہرہ کیا جس میں خصوصاً منارٹی مذہب سے تعلق رکھنے والے افراد کو نشانہ بنایا جا رہا ہے اور ان کو کھلے عام قتل کیا جا رہا ہے اور ان کو مجبور کیا جا رہا ہے کہ وہ ملک سے نقل مکانی کریں بالخصوص بلوچستان میں یہ واقعات اکثر بیشتر ہوتے رہتے ہیں مظاہرے میں لاس اینجلس کی لیڈرشپ اور تمام مذاہب سے تعلق رکھنے والی تنظیموں نے اسلامک ایکسٹریمسٹ کی بھرپور مذمت کی اور کہا ملالہ یوسف زئی پر قاتلانہ حملے کے بعد عوام نے حکومت کو مینڈیٹ دے دی ہے اور وقت آ گیا ہے کہ اب اس ناسور کو ہمیشہ کے لیے ختم کیا جائے اب تو حد ہو گئی ہے کہ پاکستان میں جو اسپیشلی جو ریلیجس ایکسٹریمسٹ ہیں طالبان خاص طور پہ ان کو تو بالکل چھٹی مل گئی ہے کہ کسی کو بھی مار دیں بچارے کرسچنس کے ساتھ ہندوز کے ساتھ شیعز کے ساتھ صوفی سنیز کے ساتھ اور اب تو ان لوگوں نے بچیوں کو بھی نہیں چھوڑا ہماری گورنمنٹ کو یا آرمی کو اب منڈیٹ مل گئی ہے فرام دا پیپل آف پاکستان کہ ہم کو ان اس کینسر کو ختم کرنا ہے آئی ایم ہیئر ٹوڈے ٹو شو سالیڈیرٹی وتھ مائی فیلو پاکستانیز اینڈ آئی جسٹ وانٹ ٹو لیٹ ایوری بڈی نو دیٹ بینگ سائلنٹ ایٹ دس ٹائم از سینگ دیٹ یو آر اے ٹریٹر یہ جو پیس گیدرنگ ہے دس از ویری امپورٹنٹ فار U.S.-Pakistan relationship. The members of the Pakistani diaspora in Los Angeles are against extreme religious violence and all manner of terrorism in Pakistan. Down with the Taliban. Down with them. That's it. Enough is enough. Pakistan's in the bar. There are so many people who want to be religious in the right way and they're being fooled by the so-called mullahs who say that violence is acceptable. I think that we need freedom for all religions, and I think that girls need to be educated. I think no reason why they should be killed or shot or anything like that in Pakistan or anywhere in the world. I'm very concerned. I'm in favor of equality for all and equality of faiths, as well as gender. I think women should be educated. Um, I think it's the basis of a growing democracy. and so. Because I think that extremism is a threat to us all, I'm here to support this cause. I'm here because I want to protest against 
uh, injustice in Pakistan and the inaction of the government against uh, attacks against minorities and other people. Well, I think that it's awful what, about what they're doing and we should all believe what we believe and it's just horrible. As someone who is Pakistani to and Muslim to say that I believe that all human beings, regardless of religion and nationality, deserve the right to freedom and justice to practice and worship as they see fit. My name is Salim Saroya. I'm uh, here to support my Pakistani brothers and sisters, especially for the religious uh, equality for all in Pakistan. When I heard the news, uh, just uh, I couldn't keep my tears off because uh, this is really atrocious. Uh, I can't believe how somebody can be so, uh, you know, absolutely uh, distasteful, uh, heartless people who are doing something like this. We are uh, against religious extremists and uh, we hope that Pakistan can get rid of all Taliban. And today, the reason I'm here is to support the cause, which is uh, to be against the extremism, and I want to be actually supporting this cause. Nadine, today here in Los Angeles, California, is being done in a big way. As you all know, in Pakistan, there are a lot of targets of minority killings in Pakistan, which are related to Shia minorities and other minorities. And now, there is a case that is related to Malala Yusufzai. आज यहाँ पे लॉस एंजेलिस की बहुत बड़ी कम्युनिटी यहाँ जमा हुई है फेडरल बिल्डिंग के सामने ये बहुत ही बिजी स्ट्रीट है और आज तकरीबन 200 लोग यहाँ जमा हैं और ये मुजाहरा कर रहे हैं वो चाहते हैं कि तालिबान के खिलाफ भरपूर एक्शन लिया जाए ताकि मासूम लोगों की जाने बचें और पाकिस्तान तरक्की की राह पर गामजन हो شان جل قیام منتیس اکتوبر کو عمران خان ہمارے درمیان ہوں گے تبدیلی کا طوفان آ چکا ہے اور تبدیلی آ کر رہے گی با صلاحیت آد مودہ با کردار خوصل امن محب الوطن عمران خان آس انجلس میں خطاب کریں گے سرپور شرکت کیجئے اور اپنے ٹکٹ آج ہی خرید دیجئے Afghan and Arabian restaurant, a fine dining Mediterranean cuisine with a large variety of mouth-watering delicacies suiting your taste and mood, including chicken, lamb, fish platters, combo platters, fresh and juicy sizzling gyros, and kids' menu. Best in New Jersey, the first one on Oak Street Road, Sharma Group of Restaurants. For detail, please contact Gandhar Afghan and Arabian restaurant, Oak Street Road, Islin, New Jersey, 732-283-0900. Shalimar Multicultural Catering Our Multicultural Catering Experts ki khidmat Shandar Indoor and Outdoor Caterings Weddings, Anniversaries, Religious Events or Concerts Aapke pasandida 5 star hotels or halls mein ya aapke ghar ki dahlis par Hamari catering ki maharat Pakistani foods, Afghan and Arabian foods and halal Chinese foods All of food variety aapke budget mein 10,000 se zaid afraat ki catering ki ala intazamat Money back guarantee ke saath Shalimar Catering 732-283-3350 तो आप देख रहे थे मेरा पसंदीदा प्रोग्राम सफीर पाकिस्तान नादिन मैंने आपको पहले ही बताया कि मुझे जरूरत है नुमाइंदों की जो सफीर पाकिस्तान को रिपोर्ट कर सकें और वीडियोग्राफी कर सकें प्रोग्राम ला सकें प्रोड्यूस कर सकें मुख्तलिफ शहरों में अमेरिका के कनाडा के मुख्तलिफ शहरों में आप मुझसे रबता कायम करें हम आपको ट्रेन करेंगे और सिखाएंगे कि आप ब्रॉडकास्टिंग इंडस्ट्री में कैसे शामिल हो सकते हैं ये बड़ा उभरता हुआ ये बड़ा आगे बढ़ता हुआ एक शोभा है जिसमें आप भरपूर तरीके से हिस्सा ले सकते हैं सफीर पाकिस्तान को आपकी जरूरत है हमसे रबता कायम कीजिए नादिन इसके साथ ही आपका मेजबान वकील खान आपसे जाना चाहेगा अल्लाह हाफिज पाकिस्तान पाइंदाबाद